Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday Slam time, and we've got another round of Destiny that we're loaded into the chamber for you. This week, it's the Metro Championship. The Infinite defending his title for the first time against the Pariah, his former tag team partner. How did we get here? How did the singularity fall apart? Let's take a moment and get ourselves caught back up. Let's rewind that tape for you. Pariah, Adam, James. Where are you? Where have I been? I found you. I pulled you from the darkness. I had you step into the light, and together we created. I've been deciding whether or not I even want the, the singularity. singularity anymore. At all times, you chose now to disappear. Ever since you started pandering to these pathetic fans. When together, we can both be the Kansas City Metro Champion. I made you Metro Champion! Your creator is demanding you to show yourself. We are one. You want to inspire hopes and dreams. We are supposed to be the singularity. Where are you? That destiny. I'm gonna take it all away. Well, you've heard it time and time again. Best friends make even better enemies. And these two, for at least the better part of a year here on Saturday Slam, all the way through Unleashed, the singularity acted as one solid force. I said it so many times on Saturday Slam. If you're fighting one of these guys, you are actually fighting two at any point in time. But sometime between Unleashed and now, some friction, some fractures started to appear between the two of them. Mariah feeling he'd been left in the shadows too long. Mariah feeling like the glory had been left all to the infinite while he was left to do all the dirty work it seemed. We saw him work his magic, if you will, when he made Jay Savage basically walk right into a trap. That spinning back heel kick laying out the champion and laying forth the path for the infinite to become the metro champion a title match that the pariah felt should have been his from the beginning and now he will get his chance for that championship against his former tag team partner none other than your current metro champion the infinite And we've seen him on Saturday Slams. Ever since Unleashed, the champion has stepped up to several challenges, including an impromptu title defense against Dirty Deed Daniel Maxson. With almost no warning and no prep time, the incident was able to step up and make it happen on Saturday Slam. But this will be his first defense on a big stage in front of the big crowd here live for the KCXW universe. Will the bright lights be too much for the infinite? Will he be able to hold on in this type of setting? And especially against a former tag partner who knows all of his tricks, who knows his go-tos, who knows his offensive strategies. This will certainly be a tough defense for the infinite, for sure. You hear the words being exchanged already. And now we will go to Steve Lovelady for the official Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. And it is for the Metro Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger. He is the pariah, Adam James! And his opponent. He is your Metro Champion, The Infinite 
Ryan Jin Jin. And you hear the crowd firmly on the side of the infinite. As the pariah laying out a physical threat there. High stakes indeed in this contest. The first major title defense. The Pariah's first attempt for the Metro Championship. Referee displaying the belt for the audience before we get things started. And you can see the Pariah ready to go. Infinite looks like he's set into, the, set into his braces. There's the bell, the Infinite goes off and running. Pariah was looking for that kick and we almost had a quick match right there. Infinite now raining in shoulders in the gut, trying to cut the wind out of the Pariah here early on. Rams his spine into the far buckle, taking the ball all the way across the other side now again. Infinite lining it up, a third buckle. Again, right to the small of the back with those pads. Luckily, the only thing between Pariah and the steel hooks, huge spine buster. And Pariah's gonna have a hard time walking the rest of this contest off to an early go and getting rammed into all of the turnbuckles. Infinite not satisfied with that, wants to do more damage. Pariah tries for one of those kicks, but he got caught. Infinite knows his game. Lifts him up into a huge slam, maybe fall away. And Pariah rolls himself to the outside to take five. And so far in the early goings, it has been all infinite. Referee beginning the count for Pariah. He's currently taking a moment to kind of charge himself back up. The Infinite's charging as well. Suicide Dive takes out Pariah, who has just started to get his bearings back. When the Infinite came flying through, just about taking his head off now. Pariah rolled back into the ring. And the Infinite firmly in control in the early goings here. Wraps him back up for reverse neck breaker. Oh, right across the back with those knees, lifts him up high, and drops him down across the knee again. A modified backbreaker. And Pariah slung into the corner. Infinite goes up to the second rope, tries to go for that flying jump, but Pariah saw it coming and got the roundhouse kick up into the midsection to shut him down. That may have been what Pariah needed to turn things over. Snaps a side suplex through, keeps it held on tight. Brings Infinite back up and slams him down a second time. Still holding on is the Pariah. A third side suplex. All up in a row. And the Infinite is slow to recover after that barrage. First pin attempt by Pariah. A strong two count. It seems like that high risk attempt from the infinite may have had. Oh, and right across the throat! Pariah laid his weight across that steel table. Very much put the infinite in harm's way there. Referee was quick to break that up. And Pariah jamming his head into the buckle. And Pariah making it very evident that in order to keep the big man at bay, he's gonna take every advantage that he can find using the ropes, using the buckles. The Infinite's starting to come back to life. We see those blows fly. Pariah goes for a punch and the Infinite caught it. Pariah should stick to kicks because this is not where he wants to be. Another punch is blocked by the Infinite, wrapping the arm underneath. Pariah is all trapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Infinite shoves him out, tries for a short arm clothesline. Pariah gets that roundhouse kick in. And just like that, able to shut Infinite down. He's going for a cross arm breaker. And he's way too close to the ropes. Infinite real quick to get that one broken up. Pariah snapping 
The infinite back down to the floor, and he's trying for that cross arm breaker again, this time right in the center of the ring. Trying to get the arms to separate so he can get leverage, get his hips underneath. Infinite rolling into it though, taking the pressure off. Mariah keeping a shoulder off the mat. But that may be his downfall. Infinite's on his feet. He's got the lift. Mariah's all alone in the air. Oh, and he slams him down onto his curled back. That cannot feel good. But how much damage was done to the arm of the Infinite being stuck in that cross arm breaker. Raya makes his way into the corner and the Infinite comes charging in with a huge clothesline. Sending Pariah to the other side now. Infinite coming in again. Pariah gets the boot up. Stunning the Infinite. And Pariah, he's got his, he's got the legs hooked over and a triangle choke. And he's got Infinite wrapped over the ropes. Pariah using his weight to choke the Infinite across that steel cable again. And now he's dragging Infinite outside. This is turning into a fight, folks. Slams his head across the ring apron. And that is one of the stiffest parts of the ring. That is all steel underneath there. And now Infinite basically fighting for his life, throwing any kind of shots that he can to try and slow down the pariah. And now slamming pariah into the chair. Infinite rolling in to break the count. And you can see at this point, it's not so much about winning. It's the bad blood between these two. And each of them's trying to make a statement to the other. Infinite looking for a suplex on the outside. Maybe that gourd buster, perhaps. And Mariah turns around, snap suplex right down onto the floor. Luckily, that padding was there. Otherwise, he's going right across a concrete warehouse floor, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, even with that pad, there's not a whole lot of give, not a whole lot of anywhere for somebody to go. Infinite's rolled into the ring as Pariah makes his way back in. And right on top of his throat, right in front of the official. And Pariah, very little regard for the rules at this point, folks. Again, just trying to put the hurt to the infinite. Slowly but surely, chopping away. And now wrapping him up once again across the ropes here. He's trying to choke the life out of the infinite, dragging that count just about as long as he can. And you can see the pain right across the infinite's face as he's trying to gasp for every breath of air that he can after that. And you can see it looks like Pariah feels like he's almost just toying with the Infinite at this point, firmly in control, drawing the ire of this crowd. And now you can see him adjusting his wrist tape, starting to measure his next shot. And the pariah has plans in mind. Infinite's got a block on the suplex though. He's got that heel hooked in. Wait, a fisherman grab. Infinite brings him over. Huge suplex. Rolls it over. He's got it hooked in still. And tries for the gourd buster. Oh, but pariah goes to the eyes after landing on his feet. And he snaps Infinite through with a suplex, rolls over the top. Turns it back around, spins through on that next suplex and drives the Infinite down onto the mat. And now the one finger mocking his former tag team partner with a lack of to win. Referee goes to count it. If Brian puts some weight on the shoulders, he'd probably have the victory at this point. He's gonna take his frustrations out on the Infinite. Two count only after that one. And ladies and gentlemen, it's something I've been pointing out time and time again in this match. The Pariah's been looking for every extra advantage he can all throughout this contest. Constantly using the ropes, using the ring, using the corners, any type he can to cheat 
The Pariah's been going for it. And it looks like the Infinite's trying to mount a bit of a, trying to mount a bit of some offense here. Flings Pariah into the corner hard. And Infinite slowly waking his way back over. Launching Pariah towards the other side. Pariah reverses him back out though. Ducks underneath the line. And he got that back heel kick to the back of the head. I think Infinite tried to duck it. I'm not sure if he got total contact. But if he did, this match could be over, folks. We could have a new Metro champion right here. Pariah trying to make his way over for a cover. He can't get the leg hooked. And the Infinite was able to get his shoulder up at two and a half. If Pariah had been able to move quicker, if he'd been a little bit faster on the draw, we would have had a new Metro champion right there. And I think he knows it. You can see it in his eyes. And the crowd starting to get behind the infinite, trying to will him back to life. As the pariah, wait a minute. Looks like he's, he's trying for that cranial clutch that the infinite uses as it's to finish off his opponent. Pariah can't quite get the total hook. It looks like he might just be mocking him more than anything else. Trying to put the infinite out with his own finish. Well, that was one drop so far. Two drop. And the infinite comes back alive on the third one. He's still in it. Ref's not calling it yet. Infinite's back on his feet. The crowd's coming alive. And Pariah tried to ram him into the buckle. Infinite rolls it over. One count only, but the hold's broken. Pariah's first up to his feet. Infinite's real slow to move. Wait! He dropped behind Pariah! Can he get the arms? Can he get the hand locked? Can't get the lock! Firing Pariah off the ropes now. Close line right across the chest. Pariah goes down. Infinite's trying to build that momentum up. A line to the back of the head. Now, the infinite on all cylinders as he ramps Pariah into the turnbuckle. Now trying to pull Pariah out. Wait, no, he's not. He's getting him set up, he's kind of lodged in the turnbuckle. Infinite from across town, drop kick right into the small of the spine. Jamming his spine into that turnbuckle. And now, Infinite trying to lock his hands. Can he get the grip on the head? Pariah breaks the arm down. Buys himself some space. Gets himself loose. Pariah's got the lift. Can't get him through though. Infinite turns it back around. Huge knee to the chest. And now, Trying once again to get that cranial clutch. And wait, Pariah's grabbed the referee. Oh, and he's going for the low blow. Distracting the ref and going low. Able to get himself free from the clutch. And now, with that fireman's carry neck breaker, the Pariah might be able to get it all. Two and a half. Infinite's still in it. Unable to put the infinite away still. Pariah starting to run out of options. He's starting to run out of plays in the playbook. What's it gonna take at this point in time? The infinite continues to fight to his feet after every barrage of offense that the pariah keeps throwing at him. Wait a minute now, pariah lighting him up. He was looking for a second fireman's carry neck breaker. Infinite going back, trying for that clutch again. It looks like he might have it hooked. And pariah backs into the corner, trying to break those hands free. He can't get it. Try it again. Infinite jamming him into the buckle now. 
And Pariah looks like he might be out on his feet. Does he have, oh no, he's, he's giving up the grab. Tries for that choke slam. I don't think he quite got it though. And now, lifting the pariah back up. Nailed him that time. And the infinite calling for another one. Grabbing the pariah by the beard now. Lifting him up, slams him for a third time. And the infinite refusing to finish this match. Lifting up the pariah for a fourth inverted choke slam. This has got to be nothing but personal at this point. The pariah could barely keep himself up on his own two feet anymore. All the infinite has to do at this point is just make the cover. It's elementary. And yet he's still waiting. Wait a minute. He's picking the pariah up for a fifth time. Wait a minute. And he's got him in the clutch now. And he, he's wanting to make the pariah tap. And now with a body lock, he's got it wrapped up in the center of the ring. All the options are gone. And the ref making the check. There's one, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it. Your winner is the infinite. Your winner and still your Metro champion, the infinite, Brian Chinchilla. And ladies and gentlemen, if you had any doubt in your mind that there was bad blood between these two gentlemen walking into this contest, they absolutely showed you by the end of it that animosity was the main driving factor left between the singularity. But after all the barrage of offense, after all the twists and turns, at the end of the evening, your Metro champion is still the infinite. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for another edition of Saturday Slam, Destiny Reloaded. We'll see you next weekend for another match. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, check us on Facebook, you know all the drills. See ya!